Welcome back here to Fox 51 today. Country music superstar Randy Travis is making headlines again here this week, and this time it's because of his health. Travis is in critical condition at a Dallas hospital with viral cardiomyopathy, but this isn't just a sickness for superstars. We're joined now with Dr. Oscar Paniagua with the Lewis and Peaches Owen Heart Hospital at Trinity Mother Francis to talk more about this condition. Uh, Dr. Paniagua, thanks for uh, coming in here this morning at Fox 51 today. It's great to have you here. First Thank of all, uh, let's talk about cardiomyopathy. Uh, what exactly is it? Cardiomyopathy means that the heart muscle is disease uh, from something uh, can be caused by many causes including a, a viral infection like the case of uh, Randy Travis but it can be caused by many other uh, causes as well. What are some of the main dangers associated with it? Well the danger is that the, when the heart is uh, diseased or sick uh, it, one of the consequences is losing the pumping function of the heart and develop a condition called heart failure that can uh, lead uh, to uh, uh, more serious consequences, including the lack of the ability of the heart to pump blood in your body, and also some form of uh, heart rhythm uh, problems that can be serious, or and eventually even forming clots that can cause strokes. How common of a condition is this, especially here in East Texas, doctor? The uh, condition, the, the vile cardiomyopathy, uh, like this, uh, the, that Randy Travis had is, is not really common. The most common one is the one caused by uh, coronary artery disease. It's a more common form. Uh, but uh, it's probably in a population of 120,000 uh, inhabitants like, like Tyler, it will be about five to ten cases a year. Okay, so is this something that's genetic? I mean, do we need to look at our family history to see if we could possibly suffer from this? And no, uh, the uh, viral cardiomyopathy is not a genetic condition. However, if you are born in a family with a genetic background or some form of a familiar cardiomyopathy, you may, you may get a more severe form of a viral cardiomyopathy, even fatal. Uh, let's talk about just heart conditions uh, also and, and lifestyle choices that go along with that, doctor. For instance, smoking, obesity, things like that. How critical are those in affecting heart health? Well, yes, um, um, especially obesity is a, it's a known cause of uh, cardiomyopathy, but it can also lead to the uh, developing of risk factors, especially for coronary artery disease. And that's what there's a big emphasis in reducing or controlling obesity uh, in East Texas and in the country in general. Uh, what could people do, uh, doctor, to possibly a avoid coming down with this condition or, or possibly even be checked out by a doctor at uh, Trinity Mother Francis? The, the main thing to do is um, uh, be able aware of symptoms. Uh, if you develop a condition like a cardiomyopathy or heart failure, the most common symptoms are shortness of breath or fluid retention either in your lungs or in your legs. And uh, if that develops in a context of a recent uh, flu-like uh, illness, uh, that might make a doctor suspicious of a viral cardiomyopathy. And the main thing is to just to seek medical attention. And we have you know, heart, high expertise at Lewis and Peaches Owen Heart Hospital to, to check you out. And if somebody uh, wants to set up an appointment Dr. Paniagua, what, what is the easiest way to go about doing if that? If you go to the Trinity Mother Francis website or the Lewis and Peaches Owens uh, website, there are multiple numbers uh, that, that you can call us and uh, we'll get you in pretty quickly. Wonderful. Dr. Paniagua, thank you for your time and the great information today. It's a pleasure to have you here. You're we welcome. appreciate it very much. Thank you very much.